people, we are here looking at some of the worst design things that the world has ever seen. Do you want to see one right now? Yes! Because I have one and I'm wearing it. Yes, people, in order to do this video right, I need to be wearing the dumbest, most poorly designed shirt of all time. It's only right. Am I right? Don't worry, guys. This video is not just a merch ad, but if you want to get one of these horribly stupid shirts for a limited time only, the link will be down below. You can check it out. Okay, guys, let's look at some stupid, horrible designs. It's not even angled or anything to guide the drainage. It just dribbles onto the floor. Oh, this is one. Wait, what? This is one. What? This is a sink with no sink. This is a no sink sink. We've seen things like this before, but legend only had it that there was uh, more than one. Flat top sink, aka sinkless sink. Bruh. It's a thing. It's supposed to be angled so the water goes back into a small slit. This is a thing that people do? And it, oh, it goes there and it's on a slight angle. You guys are savages. Savages, I tell you. That is true savagery. You are definitely gonna get more water on the floor than a normal sink. Honestly, guys, I'm telling you. Fly to Europe and have a stroke. <laughs> Don't just like it, live it. Fly nonstop to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so here's her boring life back in America. Just boring. Oh, another selfie. It's same thing we do every day, Pinky. Fly to Rome. Here's the life you live. <laughs> oh, no. This is the most horrible edit of all time. Ah. I, I get what they were going for, but no. <laughs> Horrible. A life-changing experience. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Is this like a chiropractor in, in the Czech Republic? I don't know what language this is. I'm taking a wild swing at it. I'm guessing this is the Czech Republic, but I'm probably stupid. Yeah, <laughs> it makes it look like he them. That's what this looks like. It looks like his chiropractic practice. His chiropractice ends the lives of his clients. He's like, yo, this is gonna be the cool- I got my brother Tywin doing the Photoshop job. This is gonna be sick. Do a pose real quick. We'll make it look like your spirit is saying how much you like my neck crack in action. Trust me, this is gonna be a sick Photoshop, bro. This will not make me look insane. Restaurant bathroom sink made from wood. Wow, that's gross. What happens to- is it like soap that builds up? What causes it to look this bad? This looks really bad and I really don't like it. But how does water do this? Is it like just the dirt build? I, I want to know. How, do, how does this happen? Either way, yeah, it looks really gross. If Now, if the entire thing looked like this, you could pass it off as like a vintage look. But unfortunately, we can tell that this is not supposed to look like this. No way. No, no. No, you got to be kidding me. Every one of them is playing on the wrong side of the capo. Okay, people, this is a capo. What this is, is it basically tunes your guitar or your violin up so that everything is higher and you, you play on there. I have one, let me show you. Okay, so we have a guitar here. Here is an E chord with no capo. And then you take a capo. This is what they're advertising here. This is called a capo. You put it on the neck. So we put a capo on the fifth fret and now we can play the E chord and it's much higher. There's certain songs that you need a capo in order to play, so a capo is a very valuable thing. However, in this image, in all these images here, they're playing on the wrong side of the capo. This does nothing. If I, if I touch the strings over here. It does nothing. So none of these people actually play any of these instruments clearly. It's clearly different people who made the capo than who made the advertisement. This is horrible. Unbelievable. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen my recent music video where I play this guitar and rock out like a true OG. Make sure you check it out after this video because you missed the most effort I've ever put into any video ever, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna put this back and look less cool now. Oh no! Oh, no. My son who just started to read. This is supposed to say, hello baby. Guys, you picked the wrong letter to turn into a logo. Honestly, YouTube's auto detection algorithms are gonna read this as the word we think it is. Cameron, I'm so sorry. We gotta blur this E here. Uh, guys, I'm just trying to stay safe. 
I'm not gonna let this company be the reason this video gets no cash. You know what I'm saying? How stupid is that? This is so much bigger than an O would be. Despicable. 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 It's Daffy Duck. At least it's padded. All right, we have the slide of doom. I guess they're just assuming that little Billy won't get enough momentum to, to launch themselves into the pole. I mean, I guess. this The pole is padded, but yes, terrible, terrible, terrible placement. Fall is my favorite season. All right, we got a nice fall uh, decoration. This is supposed to say fall with an A. Where's the A, bro? This ain't no A, it's fall. I love fall. Aw, and the white girl emojis. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> yeah, ain't, ain't no fall I've ever, ever seen. They teach English and English and fall tie dye socks that look like someone used them as toilet paper. Wow, tie dye socks, white and brown colored. Never, guys, never buy anything that is white and brown tie dye. Did you order these online? What got you to the point of actually purchasing these and putting them on your feet? This looks exactly like what you say it looks like. White and brown tie dye. What insane, insane person's crazy idea was that? Crazy. People. People, get this out of my house. Happy Halloween, guys. This is supposed to be Moon Knight. Moon Knight. I have no idea what Moon Knight is, but I know that it doesn't look like this. Moon Knight. Whoa. Is that an Avenger? <laughs> oh, it's a, of course it's a Marvel character. Okay. I am Moon Knight. I come from the skies and bring you delight. Yeah, that ain't no Moon Knight I ever seen. Do they teach English, English in Moon Knight? I keep getting that wrong. Took me a while to figure this out. Read, give, cater! <laughs> Ow, that hurt my voice. Cre great? Great? Give, cater? Eat? Crive? Cater? Eat? Cri crive? Eat? Crater? T -t Today, Junior? <laughs> what is that? I have no idea how to read this. I know this is eat. Is this supposed to be great, eat, give, cater? Okay, guys, we gotta consult the comments. I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> Creative cater, creative cater. Wow, well done slash get help. <laughs> Good job. That was a good Reddit comment. That is the rare Reddit comment that actually makes me laugh. Good, good job. <laughs> May I have a Wednesday, please? Okay, fine. Quiet. Have a Wednesday. Oh, I think this is supposed to say have a quiet Wednesday. Quiet. Have a Wednesday. What a terrible design. You, you should have done a different font, bro. Quiet. Have a Wednesday. I am. I actually am having a Wednesday right now. Do you guys not believe me? I I'll show you. I am literally having a Wednesday right now. I mean, if you ain't got it by now, then you, you just ain't getting it. This puzzle's answer is wrong. All right, guys, let's do a puzzle. It's puzzle time. It's puzzle time. I don't know what to rhyme to make a song out of puzzle time. Yeah, 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 yeah. A special tool can help you cross rivers and other bodies of water. To find out what the tool is called, replace each letter below with the one that comes after it in the alphabet and write them on the blanks. Oh, no, guys. Okay, fine. I'm. Ugh, we got to do this the old fashioned way, or should I say the new fashioned way? Okay. Okay, L M N O A B C D E F G H T U V O oh, and Ove. Huh? So far, so good, guys. Q R S T U H I J K L M A B H I J T U V W. Okay, what's after E? We got an F. L M N O P Q L M N O P. All right, let's see what we got here. A special tool can help you cross rivers and other bodies of water. What is the tool called? Oh, of course! Of course! Of course! Oh, of course! Of course! I'm so glad I took the time to do that puzzle. This is why I never read the directions. <laughs> what is this actually supposed to say? The answer is right. The instructions are wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Vaulting pole is the correct answer. Why would it be vaulting pole? Oh, it's a. It, this is supposed to be a mix and match, not a letter that comes after it in the alphabet. Wow. Wow, the people who made the puzzle and the people who described the puzzle were not communicating with each other. Toilets for disabled people are located upstairs in a restaurant in Stockholm. Stockholm, this is why we can't have nice restaurants. Unless you guys have super chairs over there, this ain't no handy capable. You know what I'm saying? Sock model not wearing socks. Wow. Yeah. It, at least if you wanted this to work, if you wanted to use this image, at least have her not be smiling. H have her be crying and be like, this is your life without these 
socks. As you can see, this model does not have our socks on. She is very sad, but no, she seems stoked to not be wearing the product that she is being advertised on. Good job, idiots. I look at this logo and can't see anything but ham pass. Actually, this kind of looks like hall pass to me. This does look like hall pass. I get it. I get why you think this looks like ham pass, but I really, I really no, no, don't no, think no, so. No. Probably the worst logo I've ever seen. It's for a plastic surgeon. <laughs> Oh no, and they have a big knife! Guys, if your plastic surgeon thinks that this looks good, don't allow them to adjust your face, okay? Whatever plastic surgeon thinks this logo is like, if they look at this and they're like, yes, that looks good to me. The person who has the most important job in terms of what should look good on earth. That's not the guy. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> Spooky. Yeah, what a weird button. Y'all couldn't use one font down and fit it all on one thing? You should have done small spooky, medium spooky, big spooky, you know, and, and have it cover the thing. That's yeah, a bad design. That's a bad button. If you got that button, whack. whack. It's not as dramatic as others here, but I can't tell if I'm crazy or not. This ad is ugly as heck, isn't it? Yeah, this is an absolute visual nightmare. One anniversary. Yeah, this is a nightmare. This is way too much to look at, Lord of the Rings. Join the first anniversary right here. Oh, the Lord of the Rings app game? I don't think I will. I, I will stick to my Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you very much. Each of the blue dots on this fire escape map says you are here. No way. This is- this all says you are here? On a fire escape? What? Guys, this, this is, is the, the one thing, thing we, we didn't want, want to happen. happen. You have one job in an evacuation map to not confuse people and help them get to the exit. Are you kidding me? That's horrible. You have one job. I am so sad. I'm I'm so disappointed in my French brothers. Very disappointed. Pointed. All right, we have a room sign in like an apartment or a hotel, and we have the numbers in anti-chronological order. We don't like that. Anyone who's lived in an apartment complex or been in a hotel can understand how this is stupid, and it gets my seal of stupid approval. In other words, my seal of rejection. Hotel room light switch hidden behind pillows so you wake up inexplicably <laughs> in the middle of the night. Listen, this is not a, a design flaw. This is them showing off how soft their pillows are, that no matter how hard your head be sleeping, that pillow will not hit the light switch. It's actually brilliant if you ask me the world's softest pillows. I'm proud of y'all, hotel team. The 1928 NFL champion Champion Providence Steamrollers logo. Providence Steamrollers. Yeah, this is the most horrible sports team design I've ever seen. NFL Championship. Y'all won the Super Bowl with a logo like this? I guess the other team was just driven insane by seeing this horrifying picture. Let's see. Providence Steamrollers. Oh my word. What a hor- Oh my gosh. It does not get better, guys. It does not get better. Providence Steamrollers. This guy's like, stop! Stop using this horrible logo. Stop! It makes me, it gives me nightmares at night, and same with my kids. Alright, we have a map here. The land is blue and the water is white. I am not proud to say that I spent multiple minutes trying to figure out why all the cities were underwater. Wow. You, you, you guys, when you're making a map, you have one job. You know what that job is? Can you guess? It's to not make land blue. Okay? Anyone who's made a map in their life should know that's literally the one thing we, d we didn't want to happen. Wow, we have the most terrifying Pikachu of all time. Uh, I, I am very sorry to any children who visited this uh, location and saw this. These are the future psychopaths of the, of the world, the people who interact with this Pikachu. There's no way Nintendo signed off on this. There's no way this is a licensed usage of the Poke Pokemon IP. Hotel room has unlabeled switch that seems to activate some sort of alarm. Ugh. Ugh, horrible. Some kind of a lot. Yeah, definitely have a label for that. Definitely have a label for that. If that's like a panic button, let the people know ahead of time. Or if you have to have that button built into the hotel and not have it say panic, you should probably screen your guests a little bit uh, further. Actual logo for a Mexican restaurant in my town. Look at the, the nerve to trademark this logo. Fam, ain't nobody ripping off your logo. <laughs> Ain't nobody ripping this off. I promise you, you don't need to trademark it. No one ripping that off. Soap, water, and air, all from the same faucet unit. Sounds like a neat idea, except... 
All right, we got our water. We got our maybe air. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. I hate it. We got to watch that one more time. Oh, just a uh, little, little bit of a wrench feels good. Okay, let's get some air. Ah! Yeah, that's a bad idea. Wow. Did you get a person with schizophrenia to do the <laughs> This has to be probably the worst room in the world to do work in. If they had to do a rating system for what is the worst possible room to accomplish work in, it, this is probably the one. Also probably the worst one to hunt for bugs, the worst one to clean, the worst one to really do anything in except go insane. Spacky ship! Yay! Little Timmy's riding on the Spacky ship. How did? How did you? How? How did? How did you? How did? How did this design get? A, how did you? Why? Why? Why is that possible? I don't like it. It's not it's dumb. This double-sided exit sign. <laughs> That's how you read that out loud, just so you guys know. My friends, on the topic of bad designs, if you've made it this far in the video, that means you are one of the real OGs. And I was thinking, since it's been a year since I designed this shirt, I realized some of you guys watching might not know the full origin story of the dumbest t-shirt to ever exist. See, one year ago, I did a video where I Googled myself, and I went through all the Google suggestions, and one of the very top things that is Googled for when you search my name is Robert IDK merch. Now at the time, I didn't have any merch. So what was I supposed to do? Well, why don't we take a look to see what I did? Okay, okay, what second? Robert IDK merch. Oh my gosh, you guys are making me feel bad. I don't have any merch right now. I need to, it's November. I'm gonna be too late. I'm gonna be too late for Christmas. What should we do for merch? How to make an merch. <laughs> Sorry. All right, all right, we got our model right here. Throw them on there. Let's get to work. <laughs> First of all, what do you need on Robert IDK merch? Well, a picture of Robert IDK, dang it. A uh, really high quality image. Why is me shirtless like the fifth result? Listen, I'm not complaining. I look good shirtless, so I guess I can't complain. This is a horrible, <laughs> a horrible picture of me. Okay, you know what? Let's go with a classic right here. All right, <laughs> we'll work with this. Okay. <laughs> no, no. All right, we got the head. And then underneath. <laughs> okay, and you need, of course you need some text. There, there's our merch. There's our merch, people. How does our model look? <laughs> Guys, imagine rolling up to school in this. If you roll up to school in this, everyone's gonna wanna be your friend. <laughs> 20,000 likes and we will release this. 20,000. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a lot. Oh man, it would be a bold move to release this. But you guys let me know if you want to see that. 20,000, okay? We'll make it happen. I'm gonna save this just in case. I asked you guys for 20,000 likes, which is insane. And what did you guys do? 46,000. I tried to put the shirt out last year, but it was so close to Black Friday that no companies were ready to work with me. And so I had to wait an entire year. But my friends, it is finally here after all this time and only for a limited time. If you want to wear a world record on your body, the world record for dumbest shirt ever, you only have a limited time. RobertIDK.net. I bought a website for this. <laughs> Link in the description, RobertIDK.net. It will arrive by Christmas if you get it in the next couple weeks. People, I am excited to see some of y'all wearing this horrible, horrible, horrible shirt. And once we get through this one, I promise I'll only make good shirts <laughs> from now on. Let me know if you get yours. I appreciate all the love and support. It is so nice to be your friend. People, thank you for watching this video. And here are two other videos that you might like. I will see you uh, on robertidk.net first, and then I will see you over here. Peace out, people. I love y'all. Bye!